map of Battle Creek. We put this up in the chapel because we wanted to pray over it. And this particular part is the roots that we're taking for the Luke 10 ministry. Neither one of us are the kind of person that necessarily like arriving at someone's house unannounced, but I'm continually amazed at the pleasant reception we get from almost everybody. I and we always start our walks off with a little prayer, ask for guidance, and ask for the words from the Lord to, that we might do His will. During our monthly visits with Luke 10, we really take a lead from God's will. Sometimes we knock on a door and we don't get a response. Sometimes we get just a hello. And then sometimes there's been a need to stop and have conversations about life. We've even stopped and, and prayed with people in the neighborhood. We've really seen God's hand in it and how um, the people respond. It's something you're like stepping into the unknown sometimes, but I always seem to have the right thing to say um, and I thank the Lord for that because I know it's his words that he's guiding me and he's sh showing me and he's showing Lisa what he wants us to do. One of the neater experiences with Luke 10 ministry is forming more intimate bonds with some of the people that we visit. I have met my good friend Sean and Sean's been coming with us to church which we enjoy so much. He's been helping out with Rib Fest and everything else. I really cherish our our friendship and our time together. And I wouldn't have known Sean if we hadn't have gone into that house. I've also had the joy of becoming a godmother to Sincere and good friends with his mother, Koya. I've uh, befriended one gal, single mom with kids. You know, just trying to help her out. Some of the folks on our routes are life friends now. Terrence being one of them, and we all know him from Rib Fest. Another big blessing was our neighbors on Rose Street, Jackie, who helped organize the first Rib Fest and catered our daughter's wedding. I mean, it's just amazing how you can be blessed and you can be a blessing. We kind of emphasize that we just want to be neighborly and we aren't carrying Bibles. We aren't um, trying to convert people. Mm -hmm. We're just trying to be caring neighbors and that we would love to um, share our church with them mm -hmm. if, if they want to come. Slowly, you see a little progress. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people say they're coming and then they don't come, but we don't give up, mm -hmm. right? Jesus didn't give up. Yeah. What I'm finding with the Luke 10 ministry is not how much that I might be touching someone else's life through that ministry. It's how much they are teaching me. We all may have to change ourselves a little bit to fit into their needs. So it would be good for us to learn and help them who are helping us because uh, it opens our minds to what the Lord is really about. I would challenge any of you to, to do Luke 10. Uh, it's rewarding just by meeting other people and feeling like you're a disciple. I think one thing that's helped knowing these people better is seeing the great spiritual need that's in our immediate neighborhood around our church and how there really is a need to extend our, our welcome to, to all people. Sometimes just walking out your front door and visiting the person next door is a great way to extend Christ's love to another.